hi, my name is Dr. Sibylle Buchwald-Werner and I am this week here at the Body Science office and it's my pleasure that we are discussing about sleep and recovery today. And, um, and I'm Dr. Brad McKeown, and um, I'm very much looking forward to talking about sleep and recovery as well. I'm a naturopath, herbalist, nutritionist, researcher, and educator. Uh, my name's Nathan Picklam, co-owner of Body Science. This is the first podcast I've done. I've normally led this stuff to Greg. He's an expert at it, but I've been called in because uh, some of these ingredients and products are very close to my heart, and I'm very interested to throw my ideas um, and what I think about these products to these guys across the table. I'm excited I could bring the Power Rangers in today. We're going to chat all about sleep and recovery. Enjoy. Welcome to the Body Science Podcast, bringing you everything you need, want, and should know about health, fitness, nutrition, and training. As always, the information contained in this podcast is for the information purposes only and is not designed to diagnose or be prescriptive to treat, prevent, or manage any injury, disease, or other health related condition. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by the revolutionary new Hydroxy Burn Sleep RX. This natural therapeutic sleep formula is unlike any other, designed specifically to combat the negative impacts of poor sleep on the mind and body without the common side effects associated with other sleep aids. It combines innovative and clinically researched German ingredients Recoverben and Blue Ness with other safe proven herbs to calm the mind and soothe the nerves, helping you sleep better. How? via lower levels of stress and anxiety and reduced muscle pain, improving your recovery time and enhancing mood. Sleep better. Welcome to Body Science HQ, the world of fit, happy and healthy. Next to me, the big dog himself, Pico, is in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? Yep, that's it. You're Glad to be here. first podcast for Body Science. Glad to say be thank here. you. Thanks for being here. Uh, I feel really honoured to have been included for once. For all those people out there, the reason that we have uh, Pico on board today with our guest experts, um, Dr. Sibylla and Dr. Brad, we're going to talk about sleep and recovery and we're going to hone in on a product we created called Hydroxyburn Sleep. There's a little misconception out there as to what it does, how it works. So we've brought in the experts. I mean, we could not have a better panel here, Nathan. This is why Nathan's in the house as well, because he's going to ask the questions that we want to talk about. So I might just lead in with what are two of your ingredients, Dr. Sibylla, that you really love about our sleep formula that you've heavily researched individually. Well, your product contains um, two ingredients, some that I have developed. The first mm. one is the blueness, yes. and the second one is the recover bin. Mm. And I really like that you have put both together mm. because this way you have created a, a sleep formula which helps you physically and mentally. Nice. Nice. So, Nath, why, does that, why is that interesting to you? You're a non-sleeper. Tell us about your sleep habits. Uh, that's an understatement. Uh, mm. So I've, I'm a chronic non-sleeper um, and dates back to even when I was a kid. My grandmother still tells me stories about when she used to look after myself and my cousins uh, and babysit that she'd all put them to bed and I'd just sit up talking to her all night until my parents came home. So I don't know whether that stemmed from an early age, but I'm still a, a, a chronic non-sleeper and uh, I always struggle to get to sleep. And then when I finally get to sleep I wake up constantly and I'm one of those people who can't shut down when I go to bed so my mind's going 24 7 and so yeah I'm really interested uh, to talk about some of these ingredients and how they work on the brain perhaps because it's one of those ones where as I said my brain's going 24 7 and I have a, a situation where and again it's not life or death situations that I think of at night. I'm not thinking, geez, I'm dying or, or you know, I can't pay my mortgage or anything like that. It just might be one little thought about business or about something in life that'll lead on to another and another and another. Next minute I'm talking to myself saying, Nathan, you're an idiot, just go to sleep. Nathan has a lot of plan Bs and when you're doing plan Bs for the plan B, the plan B never stops. So mm. for him, I would say that the sleep formula has been life-changing for Nathan. Like we've yep. worked a strategy out that actually knocks him out. Yeah. So we try and get in early in the day, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but Dr. Sibylla, let's talk about Recoverbin. That Recoverbin's an ingredient that we haven't spoken a lot about at Body Science, yet I was a massive fan of what you presented to me when we looked at putting that into a sleep formula. And I think adding that recovery element to sleep is something that most sleep formulas don't do. 
So do you want to tell us about your research for recoverment? Mm -hmm. Sure. So when we started to look what could be the raw material for recoverment, we were looking into products which have a good anti-inflammatory and also an antioxidative capacity. And for so us... What, why am I interested in that for recovery? Well, recovery is important so that you can keep your, your physical fitness. Mm -hmm. So that means um, that you can move well and you are mobile. Mobility is important for normal people, but mobility is also particularly important for sports people because when you exercise and you do exhaustive exercise, which you always do if you do high-intensity training, um, your body loses muscle strength because you have been exhausted mm -hmm. and you need time to recover. And the normal recovery time can be up to six days. Yes. Six days is very long. I mean, six days for real athletes is impossible. So they will do train before the six days. And even people who go to the gym one or two times per week are training more frequently. So it's very important that we can increase the efficiency of recovery. And um, if you have a, a damaged muscle because you have trained, you have inflammatory processes. So it's important that you stop the inflammation and also that you can um, get radicals which are created during the training that you can balance them out. So why was it important or why was it a, the concept that you put across to us in when we were talking sleep form was so important to have that at night? Um, because during the day you do your you do your training and if you train you have to have a trigger. So this means you always have to get radicals and you also get some kind of inflammation because otherwise you would not set the signs for the body that you get your endurance improved, that you get your muscles grown. But when do they grow? They don't grow during the training. Actually, they grow and um, your your fitness grows after the training and particularly during night because during the recovery the muscle can grow and it can also be recovered so that you can do the next exercise. So a recovery product needs to be taken after the training and during the night the body has time to focus on the recovery and to get the training effect. And as people who train, we all love the word recovery, yet we don't talk about it a hell of a lot when it comes to product development because it's not a cool word, I suppose, is a really basic way to put it. What research did you do to prove that it assists with recovery? Well, we have done um, a very complex um, a study. So we have done a human study on our product. And um, when you look at sports ingredients products for recovery, most of them are only testing blood parameters. So they are looking like creatine kinases, which is an indicator for muscle damage. They are looking um, for antioxidative effects. Um, and, and they're not really looking at functional parameters. But when you speak with sports um, physicians and also when you speak with, with consumers, us, the functional parameters are the only tangible ones where you can really see an effect. So for us, it was important to put something in where we can really measure muscle strength. So we worked together with a sports university to, uh, to use the right measurement. And it is something that um, you can all understand because it's similar like if you go to the gym and you do something for your upper legs, so you lift up weight. And by this, you train your, your upper leg muscles. And um, depending how much weight you can lift, it is co corresponding to your muscle strength. So in our study, we first had all the people being measured on the, norm, on the normal muscle strength. Then they had to do an exhaustive exercise, which were uh, base jumps or burpees. So mm -hmm. they had to go down and up and down yep. and up. I agree. <laughs> and if you do this, and you do this, and we also measure that they were really exhausted, so then you get really muscle soreness in the upper legs. And um, then they had to do the, the functional parameter, the, the, um, the uplifting of the weight again directly after, and then we did it several hours up to um, 48 hours to see how the recovery is going. And then we saw, first of all, that we had 50% less muscle strength loss compared to placebo, Wow. And we also saw that we can get a full recovery in two days. So my muscles feel better and I recover better. Exactly. We also had a questionnaire to see uh, how is the subjective feeling of, of our participants. And we also saw that they felt subjectively less muscle soreness compared uh, to the people in the placebo group. Nice. I love that. Mm. One of the big questions that you asked me, Pico, when we were um, developing this product is why would we put 
lemon balm with lemon verbena, which is the recoverban. So can we touch on why that would be? Well, we have also included the lemon balm, which is the blueness, mm. because recovery is not only physical, it also needs to go through our nervous system. And when we do sports, um, particularly when we train hard, um, we also are stressing the body. And if we stress the body, we have an elevated cortisol mm. level. And if we want to recover, we need to bring this down. Because during the recovery, we want to have the body to be relaxed and to be able to build human growth hormone, which is important for the for the muscle um, growth and getting the exercise effect. But we also need to get the cortisol down to get our metabolism in a recovery mode, which means efficient fat burning to get energy for the next day, to get the glucose um, being set up by the cells, to get the brain ready and the muscles ready for the next day. And um, so it's important to have something which is working on the cells like the inflammatory processes, but it's also important to have something that works on the overall um, system, particularly on the brain, to get the recovery that we need. And the, the recoverban itself has a very high auric value, I was reading. Exactly, yes. Yeah, can can yes. we compare that to someone who's eating berries, for example, or...? Well, you need to eat a lot of blueberries. Oh, yeah. So we have done this in, in comparison to typical foods. Mm -hmm. So it's it's much higher. And um, when you take the effective dose of, of 400 milligram, it would be very difficult to eat a, um, a comparable amount of, of berries yes. or to drink olive oil or, or something which mm -hmm. also has um, antioxidant capacity. And why did um, your company, why was your company interested in researching that topic? Um, well, we were um, from from a strategy point of view, we want to um, improve quality of life for people, and mobility is very important. And mobility can be mental or physical mobility. So for us, it was a natural process to develop one ingredient for mental mobility, which is our blueness, and also one ingredient which helps you to keep mobile. And this is in recover bin. Nice. Nath, what, is, what are some of the questions that retailers are asking you when your team's selling this into retail? Uh, pretty much does this product, um, well, when you talk about sleep formulas in our industry, uh, a lot of it is all about knocking you out and feeling zonked, right? So I've had products and tried product mm -hmm. sleep formulas in the past right. where they would knock you out and, you know, you'd feel like, wake up feeling groggy during the night, you'd wake up feeling hazy and groggy during the morning. So um, I think, you know, from, from a consumer uh, perspective, you know, they've come to know a, a sleep formula or sleep products in our industry to do that. Um, so um, when, when the feedback came back, there's, is this this type of product? Obviously it wasn't. Um, people were, were going to be, and like they weren't um, getting groggy before it. I mean, I'm a massive advocate for this product. Uh, in fact, I was the guinea pig that trialled this product when you first sent it over. Uh, and so a lot of clients came to me asking, oh, how, how, how have you found it? And the thing for me was that uh, I didn't find that it made me groggy or I didn't take it and go, oh, geez, I better go to bed because I'm feeling so tired. Um, what it allowed me to do uh, was help switch my brain off, um, mm -hmm. which put me in a, a, a more um, relaxed state to be able to fall asleep, which I always struggled with. Um, and I've had, it's one of the products that, uh, whether it be friends, family, I have professional athletes that, I love Pre it. Pretty much said this product saved my life mm. because obviously a lot of footy players will play uh, Friday night games or Saturday night games or so on, and um, you know a lot of adrenaline going through their body. Um, and yeah, I've got that's a, a massive advocates for this product um, at, at an elite level as well. So, so just just adding to that, you went out of your way to drug test this ingredient for us before we had it. Like you, you signed up with the Informed Sport Program with mm -hmm. Recoverban. We double check that with the HASTA program here in Australia. Now, hydroxyburn sleep product is drug tested as, as a mm -hmm. complete product, not just from an ingredient perspective. For you, your manufacturing process is very specialised in what you you do when it comes to rules you use. It's a big risk to drug test a product. Like, um, how confident were you that your product would pass a drug test? Well, actually, with natural ingredients, you can never be confident because Absolutely. because plants have so millions of molecules. <laughs> Even if you have a water extract, you only get a part of it yeah. out of it. And as we are working with food plants, which have a tradition like we use in a tea or in a refreshing beverage, 
you would not expect that something toxic is inside. Mm -hmm. But um, for the for the VADA testing, there are so many molecules and so many mode of actions, which um, which are tested that you you cannot predict if it is or if it's not. You just have to prove it. And so we did it for the recover bin and also for the blueness. Oh, I didn't know the blueness was drug yeah. tested. Mm. Yeah. We might have been able to save some yeah. money if we only used two ingredients, <laughs> Nate. We <laughs> stupidly <laughs> added a few extra things to it. So, Dr. Brad, from a, a clinical perspective, how important is ORAC value and antioxidants in our life when it comes to recovery? Very good question. One of the things to think about is our body's constantly making inflammation oxidative stress is part of the healing process and part of the way how the body balances out metabolism. Right now, our body's firing up on all cylinders, getting the energetic pathways going, which creates heat, which creates damage, free radical damage. The body mops it up, it cleans it up. But it gets to a certain point, if we don't do that effectively, we do get the muscle soreness, the muscle weakness, like what you're saying with your research, that a lot of these things happen. So when we combine it with other herbals and nutrients that allow us to look at the antioxidant capacity, reducing that. It's not stopping it, it's reducing it down to a, a more natural level and combining it with chromium, B6 and other herbals for the nervous system. You're able to allow the system to recover, restore, you know, recuperate all the R&Rs that we talk about to allow it to actually start the healing process more effectively, get the better recovery over time. Combining it with the chromium and B6 also balances out blood glucose levels while you sleep. Mm -hmm. So that way when you do wake up, you don't get that groggy effect because yep. it hasn't stayed in the bloodstream too long. It's actually being used by the cells effectively. The calming effect of the Zisiphus and the Kava calms us down, allows the body to heal, allows the body to process. It switches down or switches off the monkey mind yep. that we're doing plan B, plan Z, and all these other things. It allows us to focus more effectively, which is what, has also been found with the blue nest, for example. So it's like this synergistic symphony of all these, you know, nutrients and herbs working together. <laughs> that's the best way I've ever heard it described. I'm going to clap that. That's it. That's <laughs> the way I see it. it. The way how it works is, you know, it's it's a perfect combination, perfect yeah. symphony yeah. of how these work. They work in concert with each other. So they're going to balance out the body. They're going to keep the focus, but not make the energetic focus. Yep. Um, I don't want to say the mind, body, spirit, because some people read that as differently, but it does. It's a mental, physical, emotional. You've got the research behind it. We've got the clinical, what I've seen with patients and you've seen with customers. You've seen people's responses to this. What I've found with it is um, it's got, um, it's allowed me, because I do wake up a lot during the night still, even when I'm on this product, but I, it allows me to go back to sleep straight away. So mm. where in the past, if I woke up to go to the toilet, for example, because I drink a lot of water and so on, that it, I, I would be able to get back into bed and go straight back to sleep, which was near impossible for me. Because once I was up, didn't matter what time it was, 1.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever, got to stages where if I was up at 4 o'clock, I'd be looking at the clock thinking, well, oh, it's nearly 5 o'clock, I might as well get up type of thing, where once I'm using this, it allows me to, to fall back to sleep straight away pretty much. And so. it's, it's allowing that switch. Yeah. So it's not going to have that knocking out effect as we talked about earlier. Yep. It has that switch for the body to turn around and say, now let's focus on sleep, the sleep time now. Yep. So the body has that switch. It allows the system to slow down, get into sleep mode, go through the different phases so you get the better recovery, mm -hmm. mental, physical, emotional recovery. So when you work up the, wake up the next day, you don't have that groggy effect. Yeah. You have that better focus. Yep. In other podcasts, we talked about the cortisol effect. We get the cortisol dump in the morning to get us up and running. Again, we're looking at metabolizing and using it more effectively. Yep. So you don't have that grogginess. You can get up and go more effectively, better recovery, better restoration of cell tissues, the antioxidant capacity, mm -hmm. reducing free radicals and inflammation. Mm -hmm. Again, better recovery, waking up. Because the body can be groggy for different reasons. It could be from pain, extra workout, mm -hmm. It's not necessarily from having a knockout thing. Yep. But the body itself has been knocked out by activities. Think of it from a different scope. Again, better recovery with this combination. Yep. Can I just go back to 101s on free radicals or radicals, as you called them early, Dr. Spilla? And I'm not sure which one of you will address this question, but who cares? What are they? What, why are they dangerous? Why, why do I need to address free radicals? I mean, we, we hear it in everyday marketing. Mm. We all know the word. But I think if I ran around the office today and said, tell me what it is, everyone would go, I don't actually know. 
Like, what, what is it? And well, why is it dangerous to us? And why is recoverbin something people should consider because of it? The, the interesting thing, we've known about free radicals for a very long time. Mm-hmm. There was a paper published by um, Denham Harmon in 1954, so going back a little way, talking about the basis of free radicals. So effectively what a free radical is, um, on the outer edge of, a, of an atom, there's an even number. Free radicals have an uneven number and their aim is to steal as part of the process. This is the biochemical nature of it. When we have antioxidants, they donate that spare electron to balance it back out. So free radicals are a natural phenomenon. We're doing it right now sitting here. So our mitochondria, our cells are using up energy from glucose and fats, etc. Byproduct is free radical damage. We then have good quality nutrients, good quality foods, herbals, etc., that then balance that out and work with the recovery phase. So we'll never stop you know, the free radical damage. It will never happen because we need it. If we fall over and twist our ankle, like if there's a cable on the ground and we twist our ankle, that is the body's way of saying, sit down, stop walking on it, but we keep walking on it, creating more damage. That's a signal to us to actually slow down and stop. We then add in nutrients, herbs, dietary, physio, whatever we like to do, massage, etc., to work with our healing process to dampen down the inflammation and free radical damage. So they are a real thing. It's processing. Um, different ways you call them, like you, as an example, you call them radicals, we call them free radicals. And the word free means it has that free electron space. What is also, um, I would like to add something to this because, um, as Dr. Brett said, we all have radicals or free radicals in our body. And in principle, they are not bad because they are like like messenger substances mm-hmm. that give triggers, give signals. And if you want, and if you train and if you do exercise, you have a higher um, concentration of radicals and you have to be careful because you need um, the trigger so that you can get um, your endurance and you get your muscle growth, but you don't want to have too much. But the body has its own defense system. So we have enzymes like, for example, glutathione peroxidases, which is in the body to balance it out. And um, if you give substances like the recover bean, which have um, antioxidative capacity, it does not mean that the recover bean is just um, catching all the radicals. The recover bean is supporting the own body defense. So yes. this means if you take the recover bean, these enzymes will have support to be more active and then balance out the radicals. And that's very, very important because if he wants to do... Um, um, a training effect, and we just fill up the the body with antioxidants, antioxidants. Then maybe we don't have enough radicals anymore because we just block the body's natural response, and then we also don't get the training effect. So it's important that antioxidative um, substances support the body to act with its own power, which is own system. And, and we actually do need that effect. That when um, you go to the gym, you want the muscle breakdown. Um, to actually occur to a point because that's muscle growth and development, the way how it works. Mm -hmm. But then when that process goes too far, that's when you get the muscle injuries. Exactly. And the recovery Mm -hmm. phases are different. Mm -hmm. So is there any reason why we use 400 milligrams of uh, recoverment in the product? Is like that set amount? Well, that's the amount that you need to have an effective dose. So this is the amount we have studied and which is uh, then linked to the quality of our extract, how it's standardized so that you get enough of the active into the body to have the effects. Right. I'm I'm also interested in uh, the research that you guys do in that um, in our industry, it's not always done on uh, human research. You guys do that. Um, Is that something that you do with all of your products, like obviously th- these ones that we're talking about today, for mm-hmm. me it's, it's, it's a great um, benefit for us to say that this is real research on real people. Right, right. Well, we are a science-based company yep. and I'm always explaining that um, our science has three different aspects. The first one, I am call it always we know what it is because we exactly know which material we are working with. We have the traceability, what seeds we are using, how we are cultivating it, when is the right time to harvest. So we know what is the phytochemical composition and what are the actives in our products. Yep. The second one is then that we know how 
it works. So this means we do more of action studies mm. so that we can also establish a so-called cost relationship between how the product is standardized, how is the quality, and what is the mode of action. And then the last step would be we know that it works for you. So yep. we do our human studies to prove that all this theoretical science has also beneficial effects that are tangitive that people can perceive if they take the product. Yeah, great. And, and previously um, we've talked about dose and effect, getting the, the right dose to get the effect in the body. And that's where the, the clinical research works, yep. to get the right dose for the right effect. Mm -hmm. I just want to touch on that. Nathan, you, you mentioned that obviously you've done a lot of work with elite athletes on this product before it's hit mass market in any way. What's some of the feedback you've been getting from athletes that have been, and we're not talking somebody who plays grade football for the local club. We're talking people who are playing football at the highest level, national, national, international athletes. What type of feedback are you getting from um, people in relation to this product? Uh, this, this sort of product is something that, I'd personally been getting asked for, for, for a long, long time. Uh, so obviously players take, or, or whatever sport they're in, take a lot of um, um, pre-workout type products, uh, a lot of energy-based products during the day, before a game and so on, and they struggled uh, uh, to sleep afterwards and they struggled um, from the mind, from the buzz, from the adrenaline. And Greg, remember we, we work with, you know, people at, at like national and international levels um, that have been asking about something uh, for a product like this for some time now. So when this came along, it was one of those ones that, again, we trialled on, on, on some elite level athletes. And as I said, the, the response had been phenomenal um, to a stage where, uh, yeah, I, on a weekly basis, I'm getting endorsements from, from elite level athletes saying, again, it's life changing, this product literally has changed my life. Dr. Sibylla, why do you think elite athletes are making that call? Like from your knowledge of the ingredients, the research, I mean, you can get very technical. You can drop some big words from looking at the papers that are sitting in front of me. Why, why is an, an elite athlete actually ringing up and going, this product's changed my life? Well, I think it's if you if you do if you have a competition and you are excited and then you you have your mental um, excitement and you also your body just has really burned because you were on fire to get to get your um, your results and and your success and if then suddenly you go to sleep it's a real it's a real cut I mean you don't have always the time to do something else to uh, to to get down and to calm down so you are completely on fire and then you ask to sleep yeah. and it's it's very difficult it's it's off. the same mm -hmm. like a rock star yep. who is yeah. in, going to bed and yep. i think it's it's two things one thing is that you need to switch off your brain so to to give the brain the signal so now you just cut off and we sleep. But also, if you had um, a competition, you also have muscle soreness. So you also have pain. And also pain will distract you from falling asleep. So you need a holistic product, which helps first to reduce your, your muscle soreness so that you don't think about this. And you need a product which helps you to get um, the stress down, the cortisol down, that activates your GABA, that you get more calm, that you have less anxiety, and that also allows you to focus and to say to yourself, okay, now it's time to sleep. Yep. Yeah. So we know blueness works within 30 minutes based on the research you've done. Recoverment, mm -hmm. is it a 30-minute wonder or is it something that builds up in the body? How, how does recoverment work? Well, recoverment um, has polyphenols and also flavonoids, and we know also that they are um, uptaken uh, within also 30 minutes to one hour. But we have to see uh, the process of the exercise is a different one. So here it is something that we recommend to take continuously because you are training continuously. It's not something like on demand. You say, okay, today, today I get soreness. No, you will have effects and damaging effects due to the exercise every time you exercise. So that is something where we say you should take it every day. But then if you take it in the morning or in the evening or only in the evening, it will be fine. It, it's that accumulative effect that you, that you need to think about. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when you're training, it's accumulative. You don't just train once and stop. You're training every day playing on the weekend if it's an elite sport. I want you to think about next year, 2020, it's the Olympic Games. So they'll go and have multiple races, multiple training sessions. Going up to that time point, it's the pinnacle of their career. And they then need to go and have, you know, the heats, the semifinals. Of, you know, it's a lot of work in a short amount of time. 
And if you don't have the right recovery phase, too much free radical damage, oxidative stress, so many other things going on, you're not going to recover after the heat and you're going to fall down effectively. And a lot of people actually do physically fall down. They don't finish the race because they haven't recovered effectively. And it is that accumulative mm -hmm. effect. I can't be in the Olympics next year. It'd be a miracle. But I myself personally can't get there because I'm not trained up. I'm not built like that. But the other person has just spent half their life getting there. They've actually accumulated over time that stamina, the endurance, the acuity, their, even their mental capacity to do the Olympics, for example. And then we can then utilize, you know, recover band blueness and other nutrients in an accumulative fashion, take it every day, build up the body's you know, ability to work better with it, and then you get a better recovery and then better performance over time. Even you get much even, more out of it. Even the stress of, of trying to make the team in the first place oh. would be one of those things, you know, because so there's only so many you were re 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 allowed to take three. Yeah. Other country yep. six. Yeah. But we're, we're allowed to take three elite athletes for a particular arc like swimming or whatever. Yep. So the stress of getting there, going into the nationals first, mm. well, state, yeah. nationals, making into the team and then staying there and then recovering. You don't have an injury the week before you go yep. mm -hmm. from training. So there's a lot of stress and emotional pressure as well. And combining it with different herbs and nutrients is going to do, you know, that whole physical, mental, emotional capacity that you need to be in that athletic, you know, pinnacle of the yep. career. Yeah. And then having the better recovery behind it. It's, it's a much, much accumulative effect. Yep. And you just mentioned that you don't want to have an injury. And I think that's where recovery is so important Very and also important. to get the big um, and a quick recovery because that you reduce your risk for an injury. Mm, true. Mm. Yep. Yep. And, and the other thing I'd like to add, and you sort of nailed a little bit there, like you test it beforehand, mm -hmm. you know exactly what's in it, mm -hmm. you know the source and the material. And a lot of products, like particularly the ones we've been talking about today and ingredients, the raw materials are tested. You know what you're getting. You know mm -hmm. the safety and quality of the materials. Mm -hmm. We're putting them into supplements. They get stability testing. They're listed with the um, Therapeutic Goods Administration, so you're getting the quality and assessment testing there. So you know if it's 400 milligrams, you're getting 400 milligrams. You're yeah. getting the dose and effect, and you're getting the safety and quality as well. Yeah, I just want to note there, our Sleep RX is a listed medicine. I mean, obviously it's bought over the counter in a lot of places, but there's a lot of work to create a listed medicine versus food. It's a lot of work. Oh, heaps. But one of the things that I want, want to talk about now, and I just want to punch home bodybuilding, like if if I'm, and not not hardcore bodybuilding, if I'm hitting the gym five times a week because I want to change my body, or I'm I'm you're hitting F45 every day, like I'm a F45, I train every day at F45. Would I care about recoverment at all? You wouldn't know what F45 is. F45 is like functional HIIT training. So if I'm, and it's on trend here big time, HIIT training is everyone's lapping it up because it's all about your tribe, but that's another podcast we can talk about. So so Dr. Sibylla, I've got a 25-year-old female who's training nearly much every day F45. It's a 45-minute session. It's HIIT-based. It's it's on and off style training. Are they going to benefit from a product like Recoverbin? Yes, for sure, for sure. Because when you have a better recovery, you can also get a better effect out of your training because you not only want to repair the muscle, you also want to grow the muscle because you want to shape your body. So something needs to be done with the muscle mass. And there it will also help you to be more efficient. I was going to say, it's like every we talked about Olympic athletes, everyone in their own life is their own Olympic athlete type of thing. So That's right. they might be trying to... Someone might be trying to make an Australian Olympic swimming team, but that 25-year-old female that's doing, you know, HIIT training is also, that's her life as well. Um, but from the recovery aspect, if mm. she's recovering a lot better from that session the day before, she's more inclined to be able to, to train harder the next day, get fitter and so on. So the recovery aspect, uh, even from someone who wants to get up and go for a run of a morning, and in, in, particularly in, in elite-level sports, but even from a day-to-day -day human life, um, if someone's recovering better, they've got to be able to perform better in the, in the next day. And, yes. and that's right. A lot of people focus on the activity. Yep. Whether it's going for the run, going to the gym, whatever, hit training, it doesn't matter what it is. People, a lot of people are focusing on that. But then they're not focusing on the recovery to yep. get the best out of what they've just done. Yep. So you need to get the best out of what you've just done. You can imagine you've got the weekend warrior or someone who's mm -hmm. doing the right thing. They get to the middle of the week, they have an injury, 
they then stop for a month yep. or two. And, you know, the law of reciprocation with muscle growth, you know that what you've just built up starts to actually go back down to its basal level, what it was before. So if you're not working on the recovery phase from early on, it's going to take longer for recovery to happen in the future. Right. Yeah. So not just focus on the activity, focus on the activity and recovery from that activity. And look, speaking about focus, I'd just like to roll back a little bit. What actually is lemon verbena? Like we hear about lemon balm a lot with our blueness and it's been around, it's in a lot of our products. But what is lemon verbena and, and how did you find it? Well, lemon verbena is, is also a plant which has been used traditionally to prepare teas, particularly in, in Latin America. And also in, in South Europe, it has been used and it has a very nice taste. So it has an essential oil fraction. And if you prepare fresh leaves, you take fresh leaves and you pair a tea, it just has just a nice lemony and um, refreshing taste. And so were you at home one night just drinking your lemon vanilla tea and thought, oh, I should research this? Like um, well, I mean, when we, uh, when we wanted to find the right raw material for a recovery ingredient, we checked for several plants which are high in polyphenols because polyphenols have this anti-inflammatory and antioxidative capacity. But we wanted to have a plant which can be extracted in water, which has a safe use as a food. And also has a nice story and, and has a nice taste and uh, those are just not too high. So there were a lot of things. And then um, when we did breakdown in the screening, the lemon verbena was the one we wanted to move for. And um, it has been used traditionally also to calm the stomach. Um, in, in, in also particularly in France and in Spain, it's used for this. So we did know it has some soothing, some anti-inflammatory properties. And, um, and it also is... Um, a plant used a lot in fragrances. So if you buy nice um, cosmetics, you will also see the essential oil inside. And even this cosmetic products have a refreshing and energizing mm. um, theme. So from, from our point of view, we thought this plant is fitting perfectly um, for recovery, for sports and for mobility. Yep. With the anti-inflammatory uh, benefits of it, obviously that's got a lot to do do with helping the body recover, mm -hmm. right? Because inflammation is one of the big talking points again at yes. the moment. Recovery and also protection that you can, that you don't lose your muscle strength during the training. Yeah. Because we have a protection of 50% less muscle strength loss, right. like you have uh, under placebo and, and that's also important so that you can protect the body that you don't need to recover so much. Yeah. You mentioned there lemon, <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeless at herbal names, <laughs> lemon, <laughs> lemon, 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 is uh, was tra traditionally used in soothing the stomach. Is that is that another thing that would work well with blueness in relation to um, mood status and reducing stress? Because obviously a lot of people hold their stress in their head, but they feel it in their stomach. Or the am I totally the off track here with what I'm saying? No, I, no, I agree. So it's the butterflies in the stomach. It's like the anxiety of the performance about to go into the game or the Olympics or whatever else. You do have that effect. Um, a lot of people do feel it in their gut, I'll use the phrase, when they are training because the blood's been diverted away. So they will get that sort of weird, maybe crampy feeling. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the lemon balms, the lemon bovinas, the lemons help a way of sort of calming and nourishing the body overall. And we, we do use the phrase mental, physical, emotional a lot. And when you work on all those aspects, you can actually work on the outside effect, which is that anxiety in the stomach those butterflies, the way how you feel. And there's a lot of clinical research, a lot of clinical evidences and from practitioner side, not just the research side, that if you do start working on someone's digestive system, the rest of the body starts to catch up more effectively. You get better absorption, better clearance. That's a different podcast. Um, but so the body responds better to treatment because you get the better absorption assimilation because it's not that anxious sort of churny feeling in the gut. And think about it, like we are saying earlier, you've trained your whole life and you get the butterflies in the stomach just before you do it. You could be a ballerina, a dancer, and you get that feeling. So there's another sport we haven't talked about, dance. There's a lot of um, potential injuries because not enough recovery. They might have a show every night. They might be doing Swan Lake every night and you need to recover. So the applications of these herbals and nutritionals are unlimited, unlimited. They both have a traditional use in digestion, is that correct? 
Um, lemon balm, not so much. Not I so mean, much. lemon balm is more the, the calming effect. Mm -hmm. And it also has been used for, for, for kids when they have a nervous stomach, for example. But the nervous stomach is just the, the symptom for, for the stress yes. that, that is there. Yeah. But I would not say that they have been used traditionally um, as a digestive product. I think there are other herbs which have more um, history for yep. use there. And, yeah. and the old thing is if you work on the cause of the issue, and if the cause is the main stress mm. kind of thing, or the cortisol, as we've talked about in other podcasts, you know, if you work on the stress or what's actually causing the issue in the person, the recovery is much faster, you know, overall. So the, the nervous stomach, is it just the nervous stomach? There's a brain-gut interaction, which There's we There's a brain-gut interaction. Yeah. We've learned mm. more about the last 20 years about mm. the brain-gut continuum, the way how it works. So if we can you know, put the keystone into that, start working on balancing that out. You know, people might perform a lot better. A number of rugby league players uh, have been known in the past to vomit before a game. They get so nervous and anxious and churned up that, that they would actually do it literally in the room and then run out and play the best yeah. game and win the grand final, the state of origin or whatever it is yeah. because that's their, their anxiety and nervousness. But mm -hmm. once they did that, they had that sort of, I don't know, Calm and clarity effect afterwards, yeah. and that was their way of dealing with it. Nathan, any uh, questions out there that your retailers have given you in relation to the product that you want to address right now, or anything you want to add? We've yeah. been pretty prescriptive there in what we've discussed. No, I think we've covered off most of it. As I said, the, the biggest one uh, that always got asked was, uh, like, if people took it, were they expecting the consumer, were they expecting this to be like some prescription drug that knocked them out into a deep eight-hour sleep? That was the main one that I that I got, but as I've said before, I'm, I'm a strong advocate for this product. That it, for me, it's more of a, a calming effect and um, something that sort of um, eases the mind, um, mm. more clarity it's and preparation yeah, for sleep. Preparation yes. for sleep yeah. more than that, which again allows me to fall asleep, which is fantastic. You brought it up. What are some of the dangers of taking prescription sleep medicines regularly? Um, well, with, with some people, it can be addictive that they continuously need to keep doing it so prescriptions are as per prescription they're normally short term so someone may have an extra stress or an emotional event they've had something happen in their life and they can't sleep and they have a prescription for x amount of time and that's just to get you knocked out so you can recover and sleep better if you keep doing that over time and there's a lot of research and evidence behind this there's tolerance level changes so instead of having one tablet you might need one and a half or two tablets or three tablets to keep doing that same effect and doing that's actually not a very good idea because there's you know not a lot of research on how the body responds to that how the body clears it can it become i'll use the word toxic can it be toxic over a period of time to liver or kidneys for example because mm -hmm. it's not being cleared properly they haven't researched that because the research is based on taking one tablet half hour before bed for example when we start looking at natural products and and the different constituents and how they work we're getting a lot more pharmacokinetic studies and pharmacodynamics. So it's how it works in the body and how the body works with it. There's a lot more research going. And using the example of 30 minutes, you know, seeing the peak of the blueness after 30 minutes and then testing it at one hour and three hours, you know, the effect on the person and how they respond to the stress tests and everything else like that. And after five hours, it starts to actually, the peak's gone, the body's going down to its basal level that's really good research to show that if a person does take this with breakfast and dinner, for example, with food, they'll get a you know, really positive effect. But they don't have to worry about, am I taking too much? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be toxic to me? Is it going to have that massive pharmaceutical effect of what we hear about in the news, that someone's had an overdose or other things have happened in a negative manner? So I'm very happy. Like, I feel happy to say that people can take this on a regular basis with breakfast, for example, with food or with dinner and know that they are getting the safety and the quality and they don't have to worry about the issues that they need to worry about with other things. So, <laughs> Dr. Spiller, for our people that are listening here, Recoverbent, what are some of the key takeaways we need to really acknowledge in relation to this product? 
Rebecarabin will help you to uh, to get a good recovery. So what the the brand name says, because it has high antioxidative capacity and anti-inflammatory effects. So if you take the Recoverbin while you are training, you will have less muscle soreness. Uh, you will also protect your muscles so that you don't lose uh, muscle strength um, to a degree, uh, to a, to a high degree, and you will recover quicker. So you are protected. Um, don't get injuries. You can have a f- an effective training. And um, so, with that, to me, it sounds wonderful. So, if I take more, do I get more benefit, or is it a strictly take two? Because I, I, you've sold me on the ingredients and how how much benefit I'm going to get from it. Do I only have to take two? If I took four, would that be of more benefit or not? There's a typical bodybuilder. It says take two. I'll take four. <laughs> That, well, there's always going to be a threshold for everyone and what we're looking at or what you looked at, sorry, not me, well, what you looked at was you know, dose and effect. Mm-hmm. So we've, um, with, with the research, it's showing that it's equivalent of two tablets, yep. that that's the recommended dosage and that's where people get the benefit from. Yeah. Okay. So it's no need to take the double dose. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'd be tempted. <laughs> <laughs> Save some money, follow the label. <laughs> Look, I'm going to wrap that up there. That's sleep and recovery wrapped up. I really enjoyed that. That was that was good. Um, if anyone wants to learn more about Recoverbin, you can check it out on bodyscience.com.au or Google will always tell you the story you want to hear. Okay, Thank let's you. say something smart. You're, this is your first podcast for Body Science. Let's say something intelligent. Something intelligent. Uh, an intelligent thing I can say is thank you very much for bringing these ingredients to us because for someone that hasn't slept for a long time, and I mean literally didn't sleep, um, it's one of those things. The only thing I stress about now, and I recently got back from overseas, was stressing to make sure that I took this product away with me because if I haven't got it, I stress. That's Body Science HQ. We're over and out. Thanks for coming, guys. I really appreciate you coming from Germany and Brad, you flying up from Sydney. Appreciate Thank you for it. having us. Today's podcast was brought to you by our partners in Fit, Happy and Healthy, ASN, Nutrition Warehouse, DY Discount Vitamins, Fat Burners Only, Evelyn Fay, Mr. Supplement, or find a retailer online at bodyscience.com.au forward slash retailers.